Morning, this is Gracie Opulenza. I'm all about eccentric and opulent lifestyle. You can find out a lot more about me on gracieopulenza.com. I want to talk about my best spoke mirror that I had made here in Thailand. The wood is teak. It's just stunning. Look at this. I saw it, it was just an empty circle, and I said, can you put a mirror in it? Local artisans. And the shop, there was nothing flashy about the shop. These are where the hidden gems come from. Where do you think the luxury sector are getting their interior design ideas from? From the local artisans. And the 2024 colour for interior design are all camel colours. You can look at um, my YouTube, put in the word camel, and Iowa Park, which I was there a month ago, driving the Bentley, beautiful interior design shop. I walked in and I went, no way. Everything bamboo. And I thought, ah, I know where they're getting it from. Everything bamboo. I thought, I know where they're getting this from. And Asia, no one does teak wood design and bamboo like Asia. Yes, that is, this is my um, office slash bedroom. This is my view um, of my bedroom. Do you want to see the rest of like this? I had, why would you, uh, about uh, three months ago, I said, look at that view. I need, I need an office view. And then I've got, that view. So I'm almost surrounded by 360 degrees of view. Very cloudy, overcast, rainy here in Koh Samui. It's the month for it, January 2, but I am enjoying the cool weather. Look at that for an inspirational view. Now, back to we've got a lot of tourists coming in, especially from Australia and from the United Kingdom. So I'm going to give you some easy style tips. First of all, it's hot, isn't it? Uh, let me just, hot and muggy. So got earrings from Vietnam, light. I put clips in my back. But one thing that I love also doing, and Asia does it so well. Look, look at that all of a sudden. Keeps your hair back, it keeps it up because it's just humid in Asia. You can take this back to summer United Kingdom and you can take this back to Australia. I bet they're selling it there because Australia is full of stuff from China and Asia. Over the top, what you getting dressed up for? Very nice, smart, casual. Orange again, gorgeous colour, especially in Australia. Very simple. This is silk, big fan of silk and cotton in the A. Don't go that polyester nonsense. I know, down under now, there's so much horrible stuff from China. Um, I totally get it. But if you invest in some really beautiful pieces, yeah, it's gonna cost you more than Kmart, definitely, then um, it's well worth it. So this is silk, and then I'm gonna step back. This is silk from Vietnam. It's incredible in the heat, incredible in the heat. And look, look at the colour combination. Colour, colour. The more colour you wear in your 50s, the better for it. And right, so this is easy to travel with. It's light, you can come in with Scoot, you can come in with um, Jetstar, low cost, because the majority of you do, which is fine. You can take hand luggage, and I wouldn't take much because Asia is a lot cheaper than Australia for clothes, and buy some staple pieces that you can wear to Coles, to um, shopping, uh, trying to think of, uh, to Sports Girl, to Myers. This is a very smart casual that you could wear all day, every day, and you're not overdressed. And I've just my love a necklace from Athena from Athens, menopause. <clears throat> if you're hot, suffering from hot flushes, 
stick it on here, it drains the heat. It does work. When I bought it, they didn't tell me this. I felt it instantly. Isn't that striking? Isn't that striking? <clears throat> Just no lava stones here in Thailand. So I'm going to buy a couple and see what it does. This is my tiger. Again, easy to, easy to put on when you're flying. You can wear it also in Australia. Now, right, what I do notice, now I could sell this bag a hundred times over. Hold on. Have a look at this. This was gifted to me because I'm a big fan of Swarovski. How all of a sudden did this that look? Good. Now a lot of you wear your um, fanny bags and your bum bags, which are fine, and you can get real funky ones, especially here in Asia. But here, older, forgetful, I'm in my 50s, I have it on here, I have my money in my card. I've never had anything stolen from me in Asia, like physically. I'm more um, concerned when I'm in Italy. But look at that, beautiful parrot colours, parrots, parrots. Ring a bell Australia, look at that. Very simple, the gold, very light. Look, you can even, and I know, you can put your passport in there. You can just go in with hand luggage on Scoot, Jetstar, don't overbuy. And then, but this I got given in uh, Holland for my 50th, funny enough, doesn't it look gorgeous? A lot of people love this. And then, oh, no one does the bags, the bamboo and cotton bags. Or crochet bags like Asia. Look what yellow does. I'm in my 50s, wear the colour, draw the attention. Look at this, it's hot in Australia, flooding in some parts. Gorgeous, no one does bamboo like Thailand. Vietnam does the best. Just putting it out there, everyone loves this bag. And just look at that. Now, you can travel with this, look, it's flat. Again, it just goes very flat in your bag. So if you're gonna take one resort piece, one staple piece, this yellow will go with everything. And you can have this one as well, and that pops into that. And this is, you know, when you're going to the resort or when you're going into the shopping center, Bangkok, loads and loads of shops. Bring an empty suitcase. Great fashion at affordable price. Where do you think down under all your stuff's been made from and shipped over? at 10 times the price. It's coming from China, right? And um, most of it, I see Kmart, all that, Coles, red pepper, all made in China, very, very rare. Even Saba Australia, my favorite brand, all made in China now. So you might as well just leave your stuff home and buy some new staple pieces. Now, the other one, this is from Indonesia. Look at this, I got this here in Thailand, but you can get this again in Asia. You'll, you'll, you'll probably pay $150 for this. I didn't, I paid, I think, 50, not even. Look at that. If you want to bring back the souvenir statement piece, this is the bag. Look, it's flat. You can put it in your hand luggage, you can put it in your suitcase. Now, my interior design trends is when it's not in use, can you see you could just hang that up on a wall or outside on your veranda, right? So choose bags that also can then turn into art pieces. Look, let me just say, I'll hang it here. I don't know if it's going to stay, but I'm just giving you an idea. Gorgeous, isn't it? So, statement piece, all handcrafted in Indonesia, beautiful, look at that. And if you wanted, you could change and put that nice silk and a print in there. But that is jeans, denim jeans, denim shorts, denim skirt, right? Your bag is the ultimate icing on the Pavlova cake, right? Anything else? I think, oh. I've got one other thing you could, but people find in the heat. Whew. But look at this. Doesn't that look added extra? You know, there's that saying, and Trini says it a lot, 
If, if you're wearing too much, take one off. Rubbish, add another one on. You can never overdress, you know. Look at this, really smart casual. You can go shopping, you can go in your malls, you can go into Chadston. You can go to Melbourne Central in an outfit like this. And for goodness sake, leave your thongs, your garden thongs home. Invest in a nice um, uh, shoes. I know Melbourne has an immense amount of variety shoes all around the globe. I would say invest in Italian shoes. Timeless, beautiful. And Melissa, a Brazilian brand. Melissa, put it in my blog. And um, they're great if you're in Queensland, in the tropics, you know. Um, my shoes are not here, they're all downstairs. So there it is. That's my travel tips. I travel all the time, 17 countries in 2023, absolutely crazy, but at, uh, yes, Merry Christmas, on Christmas Day, stay calm and just gift something in your wardrobe that you no longer wear, sharing is caring, there we are.